So guys, welcome to this class. In our last class, we learned how to find a place address using the location coordinates. So we made it in such a way that when we move the map, we get a new point, a new latitude and longitude coordinate, and we use it to get an address of that particular place and update it. Okay? So if we move to this point, we'll update it and get the place address of this. So which really comes in handy. But this poses a new challenge. Um, when we when we use our search, so everything just scatters, right? So it doesn't really help us in any way. So we need to make it in such a way that we can select um, to set our pickup location and we can select to set our destination, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing in this class. All right, so without much ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is to get a reference of our radio buttons, okay? And, and to do that, we're going to define a new radio button. Buttons. Radio button. Pick up radio. Okay. So let's go ahead and reference the radio buttons, okay? So we'll go to our connected views function, our connect control function rather. So I'm going to say pick up radio, equal to radio button, find view by ID, dot pick up radio. So let's do the same thing for our destination radio. So now we are done with this. We need to set up event handler, click event handlers for our pickup radio and destination radio. Okay. So to do that, we're going to say pick up radio dot click. Put it here. So let's do the same for our destination radio. So in so when we click our pickup radio, we want to do the following, okay? I'm going to say pickup radio dot checked or to true destination radio dot checked or to false. All right. So let's go ahead and do the same for our destination radio. So now we are done with this. So to be able to achieve a situation whereby when we click on this point, it should be setting our place address as our pickup location. And when we click our destination radio, it should be setting our new address to our destination point. To be able to do this, we need some kind of separation, some kind of flag, all right? So we need to set some flag. So you can actually use a Boolean or an integer value, you know, to define your flags but for the case of this class an integer work well for us okay so we're gonna go up so let's go ahead and set some flags the flag I'm going to set is let's say int address request whenever this address request is one we assume that we assume it So whenever our so whenever our address request is one, we want to take it that we want to set our pickup location, and when the address request is two, we want it to be that we're trying to set our destination point. So we will actually be switching the address request from one to two whenever we click pickup radio button and the destination radio button. Okay, so let's go back to our pickup radio dot click, and we're gonna set. The address request we can always set the address request to be equal to one at this point 
but we all know that when we log into the app what we want to set first of all is our pickup location so here we're gonna say address request equal to two okay so now that we've done setting this address request we need to go to our camera idle event handler and we need to implement that there okay so we're gonna say if address request equal to one then that's when we execute this okay so else if address request equal to two this is where we set for our destination point okay so, but we need to set this up first we need to define this all right so let's just go right up and define that destination okay so let's go back to our camera i do sorry guys for the movement so we're gonna say destination lat launch or to main map dot camera position dot target so now the next thing we need to do we're gonna say destination test dot test equal to await map helper dot find coordinate address and we're gonna pass it our destination lat launch all right so this will solve the problem but this is not the only problem that we need to solve we need to solve the fact that when we search for a place using the place search autocomplete it will move the map and it will cause some disruptions as well so for instance let's say we put, we put this place so you can see that um, the place search will produce its own result and the map idle event handler will produce another result as well which actually they are the same but we need to stop that okay so when we are taking address from map idle camera idle we want that to be and when we are taking from place search or to complete we want that to be as well all right so to do that we need to set up a new flag all right this time around we'll call it we'll go to a section where we are defining our flags so we're going to define a new one all right so this time around is going to be a boolean value and we're going to call it take address from search okay and this is actually going to be false by default because we don't want to take address from search when we log into the app. We want it to be that um, our, our camera idle will fire the event that gets our address for us. So now pick up radio. So we're going to need to set the take address from search to false. We're going to say take address from search equal to false. We're going to do the same for our destination radio button. Take address from search will be equal to false. So let's go to where we did our setup for our place search autocomplete. We need to make some edits there, all right? So in this place, we're going to do some things, okay? We're going to say take address from search. We're going to set this to true, okay? And we need to uncheck our pickup radio. Our pickup radio, we need to uncheck it, okay? And our destination radio we need to uncheck it as well. Okay, so we're gonna copy this code and put it in this place. So this would actually do the magic for us. Okay, so that will suffice for now. So the next thing we need to do will be to set up a different color, a different color filter for our center marker. When we are setting our our destination, we want the marker to be red. And when we go back to set our our pickup location, we want the marker to be green. Okay, so we need to get a reference of our center marker, right? So to do that, we're gonna go onto the top and define a new image view. Okay, and I'm gonna say image view marker. Okay, All right. So we now need to get a reference of our center marker. So let's go to our connect controls function. So we're going to say center marker equal to not center marker, okay? 
So now that we have that, so when we click on pick up radio, we want the color to always change to green, okay? So I'm gonna say center center marker dot set color filter. So I'm gonna say color. We need to get a reference of the color class. So Android graphics. I'm gonna say color dot dark green. Let me just go ahead and use that green, okay? So this is always edit the color and the next one we're gonna set this to red okay so at this point you want to set it to red okay so we have red so the next place we want to do this is in our setup for our place search auto complete okay so we're going to set this to green as well and this will be to red so guys that's all we need to do so so before we go and test our app Let's just go through our code and show that everything checks out well, okay? So everything seems fine here. We need to go to our camera idle event handler. So at this point, we need to check the flag that says take address from search. So it's only when take address for search is equal to false. That's when we, we, we actually trigger the function. We actually trigger the method that will help us get our coordinate address, okay? So to do that, we're going to say if not take address from search. So this is the beauty of using flags, okay? We're going to enclose this, this particular code block in our if statement, okay? In this way, everything is set, okay? So let's go ahead and still verify all the stuffs. Okay, everything seems normal and fine. So let's go ahead and run our app and show that everything checks out well. Bam. So everything seems to be working well. Okay. Good. So let's set our destination works well works well so our address is being fetched just the way we expected okay head back here as you can see the color of our marker just changed right so let's try to use our autocomplete search and see what happens as you can see as you can see, the address is being set and nothing is affected. Everything still remains normal. So guys, this is how straightforward it is to combine these two together. All right. And I really hope you enjoyed the class. So guys, see you in the next class.